Many believe blockchain technology fixes everything, but it definitely doesn't, not even when it comes to payments, and there's nothing wrong with that. For example, 1. Centralized payment solutions can easily offer faster as in literally instant transactions because all it takes is updating a database. 2. For the same reason, they can even offer zero-fee payments. Or 3. The user experience tends to be much more beginner-friendly, with options available if user mistakes or fraud take place. But so what? Yes, there are drawbacks, but blockchain technology oftentimes shines because the same centralized solutions 1. Represent a huge single point of failure, for example if the authorities take action against this or that company and your funds are therefore stuck there even if you did nothing wrong. 2. Oftentimes deploy censorship by banning certain countries or activities altogether. Or 3. Can and frequently do deploy quote-unquote targeted censorship by closing down accounts and keeping funds hostage if they consider your activity problematic. To put it differently, blockchain technology might not be the cheapest or most efficient payment facilitator out there, but it shines in instances where decentralization and censorship resistance are desired. Use cases centered around those characteristics alone are more than enough to justify the existence of blockchain-oriented options. Just keep in mind that unlike Bitcoin and a few alternatives, the majority of projects that claim to be decentralized are anything but. That, however, is a topic for a future video and one covered extensively in my book, The Reasonable Case for Bitcoin.